What's up guys, this is Satsumi and I'm coming to you with a brand new episode of Why I Love This Card and I am back from vacation so just before I get into the video just want to let you guys know that next week all the videos will return to normal and I am glad to be back. So let's get into this discussion. This week we are talking about Metal Phosis Fusion. This card has not come out to the TCG yet but I still think it warrants some sort of uh, discussion just simply because it's actually kind of useful. Um, First off, it's very good in Metal Phosis, obviously, that's a new Psychic Pendulum archetype that's going to be coming to us later this year. And basically what it does is, as the name kind of states, it's Fusion Cell 1 Metal Phosis Fusion mo Monster from your extra deck using Monster from your hand or your side of the field as Fusion Materials. That's pretty obvious. It's a polymerization for Metal Phosis. Uh, Metal Phosis are actually pretty cool. Uh, you have uh, the big guy as Cardinal, and then there's the other one that can do double piercing, which is ridiculous. But um, Metal Phosis Fusion, uh, its other effect is the, the effect that I want to talk about at the moment. And that is, if this card is in your graveyard, you can shuffle this card into your deck, then draw one card. <laughs> uh, you can only activate that effect uh, of Metal Phosis Fusion once per turn. Just to, let you, just to say this right now, that, card, that effect is kind of nuts. Um, for one, if you're not playing Metal Phosis, you really only need one of this card in your deck. This is one of the few cards, a uh, few fusion spells that's really kind of immune to uh, cards like, let's say, uh, like Psalm Warning, etc. Because it just goes to the graveyard and then you can shuffle it back into the deck and then possibly redraw back into it and then fusion summon again. So that's really cool with Metal Foes' fusion. Second of all, it's really good in a variety of other decks, just simply for its other effect, which is to shuffle this card in your deck and then draw one card. It's good in Light Sworns, first off. Light Sworns, they like to mill a lot, so if this card goes to the graveyard, theoretically, you really only need one because you can keep recycling it. Um, Raiden can, for or any other Light Sworn in general, uh, or Judgment Dragon, whatever, can, uh, can send it to the graveyard through its effect from the deck, and then you get to draw a card, which is pretty useful, to be honest. And if it gets milled again, it's no big deal. You get to shuffle it back with the deck, and then you draw one card. So it's just, it's it's really not that big of a deal for Light Swarms to have this, to have like one of this in the deck, and it can be very useful. It's also pretty useful in uh, Burning Abyss. They do, they're like the Fiend version of... Uh, and like light swarms in general like it's like the rank three fusion so like not rank three fusion, rank three version and they can use this card to a degree uh really the main card that mills obviously is dante so why not uh and however the more interesting thing of burning abyss is that they also play a lot of cards that like to discard from the hand like divine wrath or twin twister and either of these cards basically it turns into a plus one it really doesn't change what not really a plus one it just it doesn't really like affect your hand at all because you can if this card is in your hand you can activate one of these cards discard this and then if it's divine wrath you wait for the next turn if it's twin twister you just do it immediately but you send this card to the graveyard and then you shovel back in and you draw a card so you lose nothing <laughs> to activate one of these cards so which is really cool um it kind of mitigates the uh the um the minimizes the amount of cost that these two very powerful cards have as long as a couple as well as a couple, couple of others including cards like toy vendor which is really useful and fluffles fluffles is definitely one of the more popular decks right now to play um maybe top 10 maybe a little lower than that but if you don't know what toy vendor does you can discard a card and then if then draw one card and reveal it and if it's a fluffle monster you can special summon it from your hand uh however you have to discard it if it's not a fluffle monster and then if this card is since the graveyard you can add one edge imp sabers or fluffle monster from your deck to your hand so that's just like you can use that with metal Phosis fusion you can either uh discard it to activate this effect or if it's milled by toy vendors effect alone you get another draw which is really useful for fluffles because they really need like like they're not as fast or as powerful as i think a lot of people wish they would be they're definitely explosive if they can get to that point but toy vendor like really helps the deck and i think that metal Phosis fusion can be very useful for this deck as well finally the last card i'm going to talk about is summoner monk this card has been like in and out of the meta just depending on how the meta is going summoner monk really helps with rank four spam decks and uh you need to discard a spell card in order to activate this effect to special summon a monster from the deck 
And what better card than Metal Thosis Fusion? Because then you get to shuffle back in the deck and draw a card, essentially making this a free special summon from the deck. So that, that's insane. So thank you guys for uh, watching this episode of Why I Love This Card. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, have a nice day. Oh, oh, oh.